If you write anything on your computer, you need to get Grammarly. I write pretty much all day, every day, and Grammarly makes my writing better. As a student, I like that it's free. Yeah. It's correcting everything as I'm writing it. Errors, spelling errors, and even helps me find the right words to use so I can say what I want. Nowadays, Grammarly is spending a lot more money in their advertisement. Is it the only reason why they have more than 30 million users? And does Grammarly really improve your writing and is it worth to invest your money on this tool? I will answer all your questions. But with that, I will give you a free trial of Grammarly so that you can test it and decide whether you are going to buy it or not and let me know in the comment section what is your review after you use that. I will not only guide you, I will also give you the access to use it and after using that, you have to decide whether you are going to buy it or not because before purchasing anything, you should try it and test it. So make sure you watch this video till the end if you are serious about your writing skills. If you are a freelance writer, author and content publisher, you need a friend to help you in your journey to make it more easy and accurate. It will also save your lots of time and energy. You can use Grammarly for proofreading your text. Now what is Grammarly? Grammarly is an advanced writing assistant. It offers grammar and plagiarism checks and enables writers to improve their work's readability. The company is based in San Francisco, first released in 2009. The Grammarly product is available via a suite of desktop and web apps as well as software plugins. Now what does it do? Essentially, Grammarly scans a piece of writing and using artificial intelligence identifies writing mistakes, errors and other issues. It includes spell checks, readability, writing style, writing assistant, editing reports, plagiarism check which is really important if you are a content creator, if you own a website and if you write content for your website. They are constantly improving their algorithms to make it more clear to understand like a human. To make it like a human. Now let's do some practical work. I will paste my intro of this video and uh, let me see how Grammarly edits it and make it more engaging. And uh, as you can see nowadays the spelling is incorrect. It should be nowadays and uh, okay. Grammarly G should be capital nowadays. Okay. There should be a comma nowadays. Grammarly is spending a lot more money on advertisement as you can see. Yes. On advertisements. Yes. Grammarly has lots of advertisements. So yes. It is not only is it only the reason why they have more than 30 million users and okay after the question mark it should be from it should start the sentence should start from capital letter and G should be capital as you can see here I have used really because I want to emphasize something okay but Grammarly is suggesting me that you should not re use really so and I am telling you that after you edit your text in Grammarly check it because although it's a uh, an artificial intelligent okay so i want it here now and does grammarly really improves okay improve your writing and is it worth to invest your money in it in this tool i will not just answer all your questions but okay i will give you the trial of grammarly g should be capital so that you can test it and decide whether you should invest your money in it this software or not and after you test as you can see it if the sentence if grammarly finds that there is something that the sentence should be changed and uh, it can it can make the sentence more engaging and uh, as you can see the previous sentences after you test let me know in the comment section okay and uh, the sentence which would be let me copy this okay copy and we will compare both the sentences uh, let me rephrase it now after you test Grammarly, let me know what you think about this software in the comment section. And uh, this was the not non non editing phrase. After you test Grammarly, let me know in the comment section what you think about this software. Uh, as you can see, there is some difference in both of the sentences. And I will not just tell you that what is the difference, what is the changes, what is that, what is this. I will give you a trial so that you can use it and decide whether it is really good for you or not now how you can use this so follow all the steps shown in this video and make sure you don't skip any other steps so 
otherwise it will not work for you okay now to try it search it grammarly and uh, search it on your google and uh, go to the second website okay now what you need to do is you have to follow all these steps shown in this video otherwise it will not work for you and uh, you would be able to use it and after you use after using it and you should have to decide whether you are going to buy it or not i have the plan so that is why i am sharing it with you now the first step you have to do is you have to create account now click on create account you have to create a new and legit account otherwise it may not work for you okay click on login no you have to click on i don't have an account and you have to create a new account for this right then let me log in in my account first now as you can see i have logged in in my account now what you need to do is you have to go to the app section and web store and you have to search for an extension okay this and you have to install it as you can see here it is i have already installed it let me do it for you now as you can see it's there just pin it now what you need to do is you have to scroll down scroll down scroll down and here you have to click the button and you will find it now you just have to copy it you should not buy anything before using it okay so this is for the trial version try it and if you find it that it is good for your business your writing skill will really improve if you use this then purchase it because i i have this plan and uh, it's really good for me and i am using it as you can see my english is not very good so now we have to click on the cookie and uh, delete all import and you just have to paste it and uh, click on import and you just have to refresh it as you can see after refreshing it it is there and you have the access to use it and try it and after you try it you can decide whether you are going to purchase it or not just click on new and paste your document paste your desired text let me copy this from here and uh, paste it as i have told you earlier in this video that we will not just do the theoretical part we will also do some practical things so this is for you try this premium version and uh, choose whether you are going to buy it or not and let me know in the comment section make sure you create a new account otherwise it may not work for you let me tell you about my conclusions about grammarly premium what do i think about this why did i purchase their services as a blogger as as a writer and blogger i always try for near perfect articles and blog posts although my english is not good that is why i am using grammarly and when i am writing any emails to a client or any subscriber that it needs to be perfect however no one is a perfect writer and we all need the help that we can get grammarly makes writing easier by providing mostly accurate and useful corrections that we might have overlooked although it should not dictate your writing style grammarly is a useful guide that can provide both your writing and proofreading skills try it don't believe me just try it and uh, use it thanks for watching if it helped you make sure you like the video as the like aim of this video is only 50 like and you deserve the best